Hello and welcome to the new vlog. What are you doing? I'm building something. Yeah. What are you building? This is. We're doing our taxes and I needed like a receipt pickup. A receipt holder? I don't know, something that you stab the receipts in so wow. they don't fly away and they stay in order. Are you testing one? Yeah. Just look at the mess we've made. Had to be done anyway. There's more mess. It's all receipts that we don't need. Okay, let's go check out what uh, Shreya is baking for this week's uh, food bank delivery or pickup. Yeah. We're going for an apple sheet cake. Already looks like a work of art. Look at it. One. I was gonna say my OCD is being triggered it, because of this. It just this. fell into the plate, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, it's fine. It. You're not gonna worry about my OCD here, I guess. Not today, honey. Okay, let's take a look at the final output from the food bank baking session yesterday. So I ended up baking two sheet cakes. Ooh, check that out. I've done uh, the QA bit on one slice and it tasted unbelievable. Technically, I did QA on one slice, but I have another one here for me. So that's one batch packed and ready to go. Super soft. Love it. So as I was running through my sales calls today, also I realized I keep saying calls, but I never told you what these calls are. So these sales calls are just to reach out to, you know, small businesses or even large businesses and offer our services, you know, like digital marketing, social media management, photography, video. I'm reaching out to these businesses, whether it's through calls or through LinkedIn or through emails. Interesting times, but uh, you do what you can. I haven't been entirely religious with cold calling, but uh, I'm getting in the groove and I don't mind picking up the phone and calling. So it works out. Oh yeah, this uh, this happened. Nice, right? I was getting too tired. It's, 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 it's getting hot. No salons are open and uh, I wouldn't let Shreya cut my hair. Loud bikes. Wow. Son of a is loud. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't let Shreya cut my hair. I can trust her with my life but not with my hair. So I figured, you know, might as well put the good old uh, hairband back. So as I was running through my calls today, I came across a whole bunch of, you know, open roles, which is a good sign. But at the same time, I feel like a lot of these companies, and obviously I'm not going to name any company, but a lot of these companies are hiring for, um, for social media managers, photographers, videographers, whatever. And the annoying bit is that they're massively underpaying look i understand this is a tough market but it's not just right now I've, I've noticed the same pattern even before covid started so on indeed itself i saw a posting for a photographer and it was a lot of expectations for like a monthly amount that is that is peanuts so not cool man not cool as a client you expect the best work but you don't want to pay for it so that's not going to fly so I just, yeah, just watch out for, watch out for such companies. In fact, if you see a job posting like this, send them a note and be like, you know what, this is unfair. Look, I've, I've been through this. I've been underpaid a lot in the past. And if you're offering a service, take my word for it. Don't be paid less. Otherwise, don't offer that service. It's completely unfair. Like I said, I've, I've been through this. And there was a point in time when I'm like, you know what this is this is good it leaves some money but uh, you know i understand now that it should be valued according to what i bring to the table and um, yeah man just don't don't settle for less you know another reason why this completely sucks is there's a lot of students out there there's a lot of immigrants coming in with a whole bunch of skills there are people who would do a job for less but you're breaking the market that's not fair you know it's almost discriminatory, 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 you get the point. If you're selling a product online or in person, say you're a restaurant and you're selling a dish for 15 bucks and I come and tell you that, you know, you should sell it for uh, for nine bucks. No, you know the amount of work that has gone into produce that dish, all the background work that you've done to actually come up with that dish. 
I mean, you have staff to pay for. In this case, even if you're a freelancer, you don't have a staff with you, for example, there's still a lot of background work that has gone into producing the kind of work that you produce. Um, and you should be paid uh, fairly for it. So, although this primarily applies to someone offering services, uh, you know, on a freelance basis, this would also apply to any job, really. Pretty perfect day to actually be out. It's like 18 degrees right now, and uh, we were going to our cousins for for some Sunday fun, social bubble, fun. social bubble <laughs> fun. So people in big cities, uh, even in a place like Canada, they don't really look at you and smile, right? Yeah, it, it, downtown they don't. No, not just. Not just downtown, even here, right? Yeah. But yeah. that has... The pandemic has changed that. Like, we've run into a couple of people and they passed beaming smiles at us. Which They're I think is... To see human life. Yeah. So, which is great. Which is a good... Good sign. Good stuff. <laughs> Are you telling me I'm stinking? Never. Okay. You only smell of daisies. Of daisies? Yeah, yeah I am. White. No, daisies don't really have it. Shut up. I'm floral. So I have a story to share with you. We got a call from our landlord yesterday and she is planning on, you know, selling the unit. So as it turns out, we are we are going to start looking for new places. The next couple of months will be interesting in terms of where we go, what we do. In terms of, yeah, residence. So yeah, people are, at least in the parks, out and about, playing some tennis, walking their dogs. I think now would be a good time to go on a hike. Yes. Okay, we've almost reached their place and we'll chat with you soon. Bye. Hey, nice touch, Domino's. I think this is very, very sensible. Good stuff. So it is legitimately a hailstorm right now and I can't record any more. So it's a proper hailstorm. Did you have to close the door? I had to close the door because it's massive. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck, right? Yeah. Can you hear this? Wow. So the sourdough loaf was a blistering success. And let's take a look. Check that baby out. So these blisters are supposed to be a very good thing. Mm. And you see this thing? Yeah. That's supposed to be really covered as well. It's it's called the ear. The ear, yeah. Ear, okay. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna take some pictures for the gram, and that's it. How's that for an evening snack? Let me do a cinematography with this. Maybe I should do slow on this.